guys, what's going on? No cap tech ASMR here. And um, today we're just going to be doing a little bit of bounty prep for Lightfall Season 20. Um, I'm not one of those people that likes to bounty prep a, a lot, a lot. But I do enjoy getting a little bit of prep in just so I have a little bump too crazy about um going super wild with it but uh i've already done my hunter because i've decided that's the class i'm gonna play sorry if you guys hear a little bit of stuff here i'm trying to move my mic um i decided to play hunter because i like their super um four strand i think it is probably the best super out of the three it looks cool it looks good to the uh, radius of the swings that the hunter does is <clears throat> excuse me very very big um and it just looks badass i mean you're swinging a rope around with a fucking kunai at the end you know what i'm saying like it's unreal i mean let's be honest here and they get a lot of uh um what do you call it the um grapple hooks they can grapple hook a lot more so you know i just decided i really like Titanfall too hey Let's play some Hunter that has really, that's now going to have way better movement than every other class. When in reality, these past couple years, every other class besides Hunters have been, have had tech, some sort of tech, aka Warlock skating, Titan skating, or so much faster than Hunters. Even though Hunters had Stompies, let's be honest, Titan skating and Warlock skating is way faster, stair boosting faster. So, you know, I'm super excited to get back in Hunter. Uh, that was my first main in D1. I loved Hunter in D1. Absolutely loved it. And then I moved to Titan in D1. Couldn't get off of Titan. And then, of course, you know, D2. Titan Meadow with the walls. We didn't have that in D1. Thankfully, <laughs> so much better. But, you know, it's okay. It is what it is. I wish they'd take Titan walls out. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, it looks like they're uh, going balls deep with Titan Walls now. You know, they got the little strand exotic that send out waves after you pop a barricade. Like, oh, they better have some increased duration on those barricades. All right, that's enough talking. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and get into the transmog and the weapons I'm going to be using today. Um, it might change around based on the bounties we get. So, looks like um, right now on this character escape velocity on which is a submachine gun with model a red which is probably the best site for this type of um submachine gun um i have flared mag well or tactical mag but i like to go with flared because it's faster reload uh the tactical mag is good too but it does only give me one extra bullet as you can see 38 over 37 it only gives me one extra bullet and less reload speed so you know, whatever. So I also got threat detector on this thing too. Increased reload stability and handling when enemies are in close proximity. Um, this is really good on shotguns, some machine guns, anything that you know you're gonna be rushing to get in a little bit of close and licking faces. You know what I'm saying? Um, quick draw is really good because um, you know you're pulling out the gun quick. It's the name quick draw gives you a lot of handling so that's nice and i also got a range master work on this baby with the new shader sinking feeling which is an amazing shader as you can see it gives lightning on the metal parts plastic it gives this black um kind of cloudy look and then i think more metal or whatever the fuck uh it kind of does the same thing but dark blue and this is probably one of the best shaders that's come out this is one of those shaders that you see in the api that are exotic shaders but come out as legendary but definitely look exotic you know like you know damn well if they had exotic shaders this would be one um i also got myself a new forbearance i did this raid once the day it came out got the 24 hour emblem and said fuck this shit i'm never doing it again because i got the exotic the raid exotic the first try and i was like i'm done i'm done and of course the weapons are amazing but i burned myself out and i just couldn't do it um but at least i got a train reaction roll i don't have
have ambitious assassin, unfortunately, but I have unrelenting chain reaction. Chain reaction is really good on um, really anything. I'd argue besides swords, each final blow with this weapon creates an elemental damage explosion, which is really nice. Unrelenting is pretty good too, but not as good as ambitious assassin because you can get two shots. But unrelenting, uh, rapidly defeating targets, triggers health regeneration, guardians, and powerful combatants count as more than one kill. So that helps with staying alive, which will be nice in the new um, Lightfall legendary campaign, right? Um, I also have high velocity or implosion rounds. I like to go with high velocity just to get those easier shots and easier damage in. I also have volatile launch or linear compensator. I just went with linear because it's PVE. I don't need to go too crazy with uh, with my um, with my um, you know, my launch of my nades. So I have Mistopus Mist Four on here. Sorry, I always mess that name up because it looks like Mistopus Four. But it's a Mustapha's for. Um, I like this, you know. I uh, can't really find too many um, shaders that shade well on these guns, but I like this one. It's pretty cool. And I guess I'll just be using Thunderlord for now. Um, lightning rounds. This weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held. Continuous damage generates stunning lightning strikes. And I have the catalyst, which causes a lightning strike with this weapon, partially reloads the magazine from reserves. Sorry guys, I had to do something real quick. But yeah, I'm going to be using the Thunder Lord um, as much as I can. I do enjoy that exotic. So let's go uh, and head over to the tower. And in the meantime, I'll show you guys my transmog because I know you guys like that. So that is my warlock. And you can see the shaders and the um, transmog things I'm using. So I'm using the... Epilos, Fallen Hood, the Pyrrhic Ascent Gloves, the Celestine Robes, the Psyonox Speaker Boots, and the Street Scholar Bond. And I've been using this for a while now. I think this is probably one of the best transmogs I've ever made. So, come Lightfall, I'm definitely going to make this my PvP um, loadout, since loadouts are coming. So, yeah. Um, and I'm sorry if you guys can hear my family in the back. They are a little noisy, but um, I hope it doesn't come through as much. Um, let's go ahead and head, head over to Banshee and see what he's got for us. So he's got a shotgun, a glaive, a linear, and a kinetic. Okay, let's go ahead and look at his rolls. So we got an auto loading, focus fear, great. Nope. A bow with ensemble adrenaline junkie. Nope. From the reservoir, that's not too bad. Shoot to loot army. No. Stats for all adrenaline junkie. No. Push the side explosive light. I keep deleting the explosive lights. But that's okay. The uh, nightfall grenade launcher is supposed to come out uh, Tuesday every set tomorrow. So I'm definitely going to grind that out for an explosive light roll or a cascade point roll. Um, got a linear here with clown cartridge. Focus fury. Nope. Okay. Um, he doesn't have anything I would like. Let's go ahead. Shacks. He has some bounties for us that we can take. Looks like we gotta do some mayhem later. So I think I'm gonna go down to the Cosmodrome and do these bounties because why not? Uh, unfortunately, I have no. <laughs> actually, I have a few done, but I thought I had absolutely zero. because it has no distractions aiming this weapon for a short period reduces flinch which is nice to hit your shots and then bait and switch which I hadn't I didn't have until now a couple days ago bait and switch deal damage with all equipped weapons within a short time to give a damage boost and that's super nice that honestly I should have gotten the cataclysmic a lot earlier but that's okay public defense arc void solar fine combatants yup I have yup Super yup. Okay, cool. Cool shit. Matter of fact, if it's gonna be super, I need to change to Dawn Blade. Like that. Okay. Alright, cool. So, um. Let's go ahead and see. I do need a glaive. I did forget my bounties already. Yikes. Shotgun, glaive, linear. I 
that's a weird combo. Uh, do I even have a glaive? I don't even use glaives. Hold on. Let me go into dim and look here. Glaive. There we go. Dim's so useful for this. Okay, there's a glaive. And I also do need a shotgun heritage. Okay, I'll go ahead and show you guys my rolls. I didn't, get, did, I didn't craft heritage either. I'm too lazy. I don't even like this raid. I know it's weird. It's okay. Uh, this weapon slowly reloads itself over time up to double capacity. And focus fear dealing half of the magazine is precision damage. Crash this weapon upon is the damage. The shot count is reset whenever the weapon is reloaded or stowed. Okay. So there's that. And then impulse amplifier, unstoppable force. Let me enigma. Blocking damage with your shield increases projectile damage for an improved duration. Massively increasing. Massively increases projectile velocity. Substantially increases reload speed, which is nice. So let's go ahead and go get this done. Um, I do have to go to, you know what? Let's just go to a public or yeah, public event. There we go. I got the little uh, broom sparrow from the Halloween event. That's where you get it from if you guys want it. Um, you know, in my opinion, it fits warlocks to a T. You know what I'm saying? It's uh. It's uh, really unbeatable for a warlock because you look at them, they look like witches with the little robes now. So, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and do some public events until we get our um, bounty for those. And we'll just keep the, um, these uh, bounties rolling, you know what I'm saying? So, I haven't used glaives since they updated the way the projectile. So, I guess this is my first test of seeing how good it is. Right? Better back up before the war set kills me. I like using Phoenix Dive. Um, just because in PvP, I always get killed putting down a rift. So I said, you know what? Fuck this. Phoenix Dive. And it's been working out a lot better, surprisingly. Um, which is nice, right? Let's go ahead and get in action here. There we go. Should be done um, pretty quickly. As long as uh, teammates don't go like too crazy, you know. Now I hear with Trinity Ghoul or some shit, just deleting ads. I did that the other day. That's why I say that. Oh my goodness, I shouldn't have done that. Um, so you know what? I'm gonna keep it a buck. This is why I don't use glaives. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, let's just go ahead and kill this wizard. Light work. There we go. Um, again, sorry if you guys can hear my family. They're a little uh, noisy. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's go ahead and check what our stuff is at here. Glaive 84 already, nice. That's great. There we go, there we go. Nice, glaive done, finally. Get that glaive out of here, man. Just put on a... Uh, Even though it's a B3 roll, it's fine. There we go, got the wizard. Special. 
sorry if you guys hear this, but this, I'm hitting my health bar. So. Okay, there we go. Um, I just did get Sonic, so. I'm gonna go ahead and make some sounds for you guys. Hopefully, you guys can hear this. I got a Dr. Pepper with cherry, vanilla, and lime, which is very, very good. You guys gotta try it, probably uh, the best drink I've gotten in a while. But yeah, um, let's go ahead and pick up this flag and start shooting some drags. Sorry, my aim's a little off, I haven't played uh, in a couple days. Um, but yeah. um, this last week for trials, it's still up. This week it is the 140 Ant Cannon again. Make sure <clears throat> if you are watching this today, make sure you go ahead and pick up yourself a um, Exalted Truth Adept because it is very good. It's nice. It's like the palindrome. Um, just realistically, a different look to it, which provides a different feel. And it's um, really just up to you how great it feels, obviously. But, um, you know, it's nice to uh, go ahead and have one, just to have it, right? So, do yourself a favor and go ahead and get one. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get some of these dudes down with a linear, because I do have to get linear um, things. And let's go ahead and make this rogue. You do it by shooting these little glimmer extraction points, things, during the extraction. So yeah, they will spawn in, like, kind of right next to you. So you can go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to pop super to uh, get the bounty. Um, go ahead and go up here and get these guys. Oh, man. You know, it's okay. I'm kind of messing up. Sorry. Like I said, I haven't played in a couple days, so I'm a little off. But it's okay. Go ahead and make this video for you guys. And play a little bit after that. So, go ahead and get these guys. Uh, I forgot I had to use my linear. There we go. You know, get a little bit of bait and switch proc'd. Why not? And here's the little thing we gotta destroy. So, let's go ahead and destroy that. Oh man, I forget I don't have auto loading on it. I wish I had auto loading or um, ambitious on this grenade launcher. I didn't see uh, what our bounties had here. Told me. Okay, that's fine. I just had a good amount of shots. And I think the public event is going to be here ish. It's okay. I gotta kill some dudes up here, anyways. With the linear. Bam, bam, bam. And I'm missing some. for the weekend and I will do a um, because of flawless pool and then I will do a um, flawless trials card ASMR for you guys because I know that PvP is um, something everybody likes in this game and let's go ahead and delete my bumper for this there we go I don't want to get my postmaster there we go go ahead and delete that and now we got our rogue event Unfortunately, I don't have any heavy. Oh, as soon as speak of the devil, right? As soon as we say that. Um, let's go ahead and get these guys going. Um, come on, guys, come on. Oh, I wish to shut this one. There we go. Got those guys. Go ahead and reload this. It's a lot slower than I remember. Much public events, I mean, who does right? Unless they have to for these bounties. And as you can see, chain reaction is really good, you know, it gets different, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and get some chain reaction going around this guy. We'll do that, that. There we go. I wish we could get some more heavy. Like, come on, where's my heavy ammo 
since from D1. I mean, we all wish they were back, right? Just do these bounties easier. <laughs> D1 was different, man. I love that game. I, I really do miss it. Even the aesthetic of the game was just badass. It really did feel grim. This just feels a little bit more lighter and uh, saturated and happy. And I don't know. There's just something else about the about D1 that was really good. But it's okay. Uh, I'm not getting any heavies, so that really blows, but it's okay. You know, we're here for the for the ride and the you know the time in. Go ahead and collect this glimmer and then we should be alright. Let's go ahead and uh, kill these dudes. The super So, we got those two done. So we need linear fusion and void. Linear fusion, void. So I do, I can choose the exalted truth, this one. All right, there we go. So now we gotta get void kills and linear kills. So let's go ahead and see if there's another public event because there's a lot of enemies where public events are when they're happening. So let's just go ahead and do that. We need it city right now. Go ahead and delete that because we're not. Jinx some more of this Sonic. Let's see if we can see that. There we go. Nice. And so let's go ahead and go up to this public event. Sorry, I was checking my phone. So this Exalted Truth, I really enjoy it, but like I said um, in the, my last video, ASMR video, I really do believe Palindrome is unbeatable, even Ostringer can't beat it. I know it has enhanced perks and everything, but the feel of the gun is very important, and I do believe that Ostringer just does not feel as good as the Palindrome. Um, it's the way Palindrome is, the sights, the, um, the skinniness, the Reload, I like everything about it. So, um, you know, at that point, how could you really beat it though, right? Um, but we'll see. Come Lightfall, I do have a feeling because of the aesthetic of Lightfall, the uh, the retro vibes. I do believe that some guns in there will probably take the spot, but we'll see. Um, I do know there's a couple 140s coming. There's one um, that is modeled after the moon. Loud Lullaby 140 Anakin, in which I did enjoy a lot. I just didn't like the feathers on the side and the, the s stuff like that. You know what I'm talking about. Um, you know what? I think I decided instead of this, I'll use the Raid Scout Doom of Judges, which I love. I love this thing. I absolutely just love the King's Fall Raid Weapons. I think they're the most beautiful. They look like dragons. Literally, dragon skin and bone. So badass shit. It really is. Um, but yeah. So I'm just gonna wait for this public event to come around and then uh, try to get these bounties done. Let's go ahead and check them. We got 84% and we need about 14 more void kills, which is easy. Easy. It's just going all the ads and run, but it's okay. We'll go scout right, but we can pick them off from a distance like this. Two shots. Cause patrol, right? Two ads, two shots. <laughs> Not two ads, uh, three shots. That's it. But yeah, um, I will show you guys what I have on my Doom. It is Firefly, Dragonfly. They both work in tandem. Precision final blows with this weapon substantially increase the speed and cause targets to explode, dealing solar, solar damage to nearby targets. Track of flight, precision final blows create an elemental damage explosion, improves reload. So, um, you know, it's just a big ass explosion every headshot kill, and I love it. It's so much fun. I don't use it much, but when I do, I enjoy it. Um, I don't really use scout rifles much, and that's why, but I do enjoy it a lot. I 
wasted a lot in Destiny 1, so maybe that's why, you know. Just bring an old, crusty, dusty ass console. since Alpha because you know, a lot of people say that it's like come on man have you really been playing since Alpha like come on. I don't believe you but it's okay um yeah so I think we're done with all our stuff let's see just have a couple of things here so we'll play a Mayhem Crucible match I haven't played Mayhem in so long it's gonna be kinda hectic right but that's okay that's what we're here for um I think I'm gonna go stasis because I can and let's go with that and that actually let's go with this or no I'll use exalted truth and kind of showcase it for you guys um I'm gonna be using the ragged hilt D along with this so my role is rifle barrel accurized perpetual and elementary elemental capacitor and because 
focus on using stasis with the elemental capacitor. It uh, stasis moder moderately controls recoil and increases movement speed while aiming down sights. Obviously, that's not a, as good as a bump as increasing handling with arc, but uh, it works out, right? And it looks like we joined a game in progress here. Um, I do want to see what our bounties were specifically for again. Super, single life, energy weapon, defeat. Okay, this is basically, that's fine, I, I, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and start picking some guys here. What's up, buddy? You're dead. Sorry. <laughs> Stasis. So this is Igneous, it's a 120 trials and cannon, and it's 
probably one of the best handguns in the game. Um, its stats are insane. Uh, the way the gun feels is insane. Oh, I missed that. That's kind of sad. Oh, I didn't hear I made that. Oh, wow, he hit that. Okay, I didn't expect him to hit that, but that's okay. Go ahead and come back. Let's uh, go ahead and hurry up here. Try to get this game done pretty quick. Sorry, I'm trying to turn on my headphones. It's not working. There we go. Bam. Slide on his head. Somebody. Goodbye. Oh, I knew I could steal that there. I knew they were fighting. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that. Um, unfortunately, someone spawned over here by me, so I'm going to have to challenge. We got that. This guy's kind of hiding, he's not really trying to challenge. He's going for the heavy, but I couldn't beat him because he's weak. And as you can see, this 120 is nasty, beating some machine guns up close. I mean, I got I had most of his shots, but, um, you know, this thing does a lot of damage. I gotta get out of here somehow. Oh, I couldn't, yeah. See, I, I knew I shouldn't have gone there, but, um, kind of instinctively, I was just like, you know what, let's just... Yeah, that's my fault. I missed. I would have killed him if I landed my shots, but I didn't. That's okay. Um, we're still ahead. Let's go ahead and try and get in this fight as soon as we can. What's up? Beat me. I missed. Let's back up. Yeah, that's okay. He had us up. Um, I, was I missed my shots. That's really it. Shots for you. Oh, I'm 
Titans for you. <laughs> that guy got absolutely deleted, man. That was uh, nasty. I have faith in myself. I'm going to slide this. No, I don't. Um, no, I do. Let's go ahead and get this heavy. Oh, game's over. Nice. Oh. Nice. Now we got the last guy. Alright, cool. So, we got 20 scores. Five opponents, those five are obviously assists. Um, damage still 4,596, 2.08 KD, and my longest streak was five. That was a pretty good game right there. Let's go ahead and see what our bounties, if our bounties are done, hopefully they are. Cool, cool. So, um, that has been the ASMR video for today. Um, and like I said, I was using Igneous chaperone and the blast batu with a uh, chain reaction clone cartridge for pvp um you want a linear compensator perk for your grenade launchers but you can only get that on the typhoon typhoon so go ahead and get yourself one of those that's the best for pvp so yeah um this has been no count tech thank you for watching my asmr video don't forget to subscribe and leave a like a lot more content coming with lightfall um i do believe i'll make another video here pretty soon before lightfall comes out so look forward to that and um that being said it's been no gale tech asmr and i'm out of here bye